Hi, my name is Bernd Hert. I'm working in NetApp's Competence Center in Waldorf. And in today's videos, I want to focus on Cloud Volumes on tap and how to use it for your SAP shared files in Microsoft Azure. In this second part, I'd like to create a new volume that is used for the shared files. In our test environment, we have two virtual machines, one with the SAP NetWeaver ABAP application server with SID SVX. And on the bottom, we have the ONTAP node instance where we want to create a shared volume SPX underscore shared that we want to mount to the NetApp ABAP system. So let's start in the working environment with our um, ONTAP instance. We select it. You can look at the menu information to see how it is integrated, specifically what are the IPs for the data or the cluster management. Back to the volumes, we can now create our first volume. Here, we have a very simplified but efficient menu. We start with the volume name. We can define the snapshot policy, the export, which is NFS, and the custom access policy for NFS. And of course, we have to specify the size of our volume. So let's take the 512 gigabyte as a start. Um, later on, you can everything adapt as it is usual with ONTAP. So with the continue, we have to choose between different storage efficiencies and what type of storage we want to use. So we use SYN provisioning, deduplication, compression, and premium storage. And this will create our first volume. Every volume that is uh, created will show up as its own tile in this working environment overview. So now SPX shared is ready. We can go to that tile and select the menu here. So we have the options to create a snapshot, restore, clone, and important, look for the mount command. So that gives you a glance on how to mount it uh, to your operating system. Going back, we can also use the edit functionality. And with the edit, we can uh, change the access control or the snapshot policy. So let's choose none for the starting which is usually chosen before you install it and later on you adapt your snapshot policy. So with that simple steps, we have now our volume ready to be mounted and used for our shared file system in SAP. Now this close our part two of cloud volumes on tap for SAP in Azure.